My life be like Today. Today is February 27th, and today I'm gonna show you what it is to live. All right, what is up, guys? Today is February 27th, and today is a day in the life of a car salesperson. So today, pretty much, I'm gonna show you what I do as a car salesperson. And what I love is that I drive really clean but opulent, exquisite cars. As you can see, like, look at this. This is just beautiful. On off road tires, rock rails like just look at the interior of this vehicle. Like, oh my, you got your heated steering wheel, which is great for the winter, heated seats. So, you got your ass, ass warmer, and you got your Apple CarPlay. So, you got your iPhone interface, which is really, really cool. Like, your iPhone, once you connect it, your iPhone interface literally pops up on the screen. Sometimes I don't like the Apple Car feature because, like. Unfortunately, Domino's and Papa John's be texting me. I'm with my girlfriend and my wife texts me, you know, it's it's a big hassle, you know, and they pronounce it text, it literally reads you aloud the messages. So that's why I don't like it. But I mean, overall, it's a pretty nice feature. You got your maps, integrated ways, you got your Spotify, Apple Music messages, all that good stuff. As you can see also, this is our Home Depot lot. So this is where we keep our other cars because you know, the dealership is so big, only so big that we can, only have so much cars there so this is our other lot we have more jeeps so we have like compasses over there we got cherokees here you got the wranglers here we got a bunch you got soft hard tops a lot of variety of choices and then we have some renegades and chargers over there so in the in the car salesperson's life it's really what i don't like about it is that there's so many hours to it and I mean, that's one of the, you know, every job, every, and everything you do, there's always gonna have, a, they're gonna have its pros and cons. And the cons in this job is that there's so many hours you work. You primarily work like 60, 60 to 70 hours a week, depending on if you sell a lot of vehicles, you know, sometimes you have to rely on, you have to be there on the customer's time, you know, let's say you leave at like eight, but the customer arrives at eight. But you got to stay another extra three, two hours, you know, depending on the customer, if you're planning to purchase a vehicle. And, and yeah, but I mean, the good thing is that Monday, so this is the schedule of a car salesperson, a car sales consultant. So you work Monday, well, my schedule, this is pretty much uh, relatable to any other dealership. So Monday, I work from like nine to six. Tuesday is my day off. Wednesday, uh, then I switch it up. So like 12 to nine. Thursday is nine to nine because that's when the B team, is uh, where the other team that's working, they had their day off, so I work nine and nine. Friday goes back to nine and six. Saturdays, you work every Saturday because Saturday is the busiest day of the week, the busiest, busiest day of the car business. That's where you sell the most cars. And that's from 8.30, well, my I work at a Jeep dealership, Chrysler, so we have Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and we also sell used vehicles as well. So we have a really big dealership and uh, this is Farish of Fairfax here in Virginia, Fairfax, Virginia. And it's a, overall, it's a really good dealership, you know, I, I like it, but um, overall, it's a lot of hours. So I got into this job because I wanted to learn. And now uh, I have this great manager. His name is Ronaldo Campana. And he taught me how to have the confidence, you know, have the balls and common sense to go up to any customer and talk to him, you know, and now I have that and I'm proud of that. He's one of the best managers ever and it's gonna relate to it's like you're it's like you're at the club you know you're at the club you're just standing there like at the statue of liberty and you see a pretty girl and then you just like you need to have the confidence to be able to go up to her and so it's the same in the car business you see a customer arrive you need to have you have to have the confidence to go up to him and introduce yourself introduce him to the to the to the dealership and uh ask her how may i assist you how what, what can i help you with and you have to guide her towards the right direction depending on what vehicle she wants if she's trading in if she's adding or replacing to the collection and then saturdays like i said i mentioned so you work 8 30 all the way to 7 that's every saturday and then i work every other sunday 12 to 5 so overall it's a lot of hours so one cool thing jeepers do well wranglers they say hi to each other by by doing this so if you see another jeep that's what they do and i think it's pretty fascinating to be honest
guys so as you guys can see i'm not wearing i'm not really prepared it's really cold out here it's probably like 20 degrees out here no like 30 degrees it's really it's not cold it's just really windy today and overall the day in the life of a salesperson is you know it's really exciting and it's easy to sell cars all you have to do is pretty but be nice you know sell yourself be generous and treat them treat them with respect treat them how you would like to be treated and when it comes to numbers that's where you got to be a little more aggressive because that's some people you know they want discounts of like five thousand dollars and you know we can't you can't negotiate with thousands of dollars you can negotiate with hundreds and you know you can do that but when it comes to negotiating with thousands of dollars there's unfortunately we can't we can't do that you know we try to you know make every deal possible but unfortunately some customers are just very you know they're delusional they're crazy they they think they're gonna go out the dealership with five thousand dollars off off the sticker price you know and, or off the internet price you just can't do that unfortunately because with every new car as you can see all these cars here they have a destination charge and the destination charge applies to all new vehicles it's from like the manufacturers shipping it to us and so for like jeep wranglers it's like 14.95 and then you got your taxes all right let's, let's do it like this so when you see a car online you see its price that price excludes your taxes where you're registering the vehicle then you have your destination charge of 14.95 that's for the wranglers 16.95 for ram trucks and ram models and then you have your tags and then you have your processing fee here at Farish is 7.99 and i think it's better because in tyson's corner it's really close by it's like a thousand dollars or like 9.95 pretty much a thousand dollars so overall uh, now that I've been working for here for a long time, Ferris is a really generous and very cooperative dealership. You know, they, it's a, I, I've seen like the best deals here comparing to other uh, dealers. And uh, the thing is that when you add all those extra fees, you know, it goes almost $4,000. So when the customer comes in, they're like, oh my God, like, it's like, it's like almost 4,000. Like, oh, hold on, let me put this down. All right, guys. So when you sell a vehicle first, you know, you greet the person, you greet the, the customer, and then you have to find the vehicle they're looking for. Sometimes they want an SUV, four-door, so they want the off-road, they want the Wrangler, you know, they want the, there's different trim levels. So you have to land them on the right vehicle. That's the most important. Then after that, you have to find out, you have to ask open, open-ended questions, financial, financial questions, if they're going to be financing, they're paying cash, if they have any down payment, what's your credit score like, and that's one of the biggest things here in the dealership you're gonna to have to give them a credit app and with that credit app pretty much what the credit app is for is to see if they qualify for a loan if they have good credit you know that's why it's important to have to start credit at a young age so everything here in the united states is credit when you buy a house when you buy a car student loans everything is credit here in the united states and that's just how it is because in other countries you can't there's no credits everything is cash up front unfortunately and i think that's why america is one of the best countries in the world but like i was saying you fill out the credit app then you put all the information into the system if they had a trade-in then you put that in the system as well so that can factor into the cost and then after that that's where you get numbers you get numbers you get the price of the vehicle then you have your taxes and you present the numbers so then you're like hey sir so the price of the vehicles our internet price is 36,000 then you have your processing fees on 99 uh, sometimes when my managers say just skip that and just tell them the total but I like being thorough and just telling them you know transparent so I tell them each fee so they're like this so the price of the vehicle is 36,000 then you have your processing fee of 799 taxes 3,000 blah 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 so then it goes up 4,000 the customer but like no, you have to understand that these, the internet price excludes all these fees unfortunately and this applies to any dealership anywhere in the country you're gonna go they're gonna tell you that's this price and then you have to pay your taxes and your processes so overall our, our dealership is you know pretty pretty nice compared to other prices but that's where i had to learn the hardcore talking part because some customers some customers don't want to pay you know like four thousand dollars above the internet price because they have a certain budget you know so not everyone's a millionaire and, and yeah, yeah. Whip look like a mad max, yeah. Mad black, and my look like a flashback and yeah guys it's really really cold right now and i'm here my buddy jason farofino what's up bro what's up, man? so what he does he's a car porter so what he does is he just 
he does delivers cars if a car needs to be moved to the dealer he moves it and that's what i used to do before and i think you know i come a long way now i sell the cars and it's pretty cool you know driving all these vehicles and it's crazy time flies but yeah i was a car porter and my favorite part as a car porter was dx's dx's is a dealer exchange when the dealer wants to exchange vehicles they swap it out and i would have to go to let's say baltimore and go pick up that vehicle because it you know it's very time consuming and this job sometimes is very uh boring so dx's is the best thing all right guys thank you guys so much for making it this far the video it means a lot like comment subscribe all that good stuff so my channel can grow in the best way possible and uh, i didn't want to really like vlog inside the dealership because we have like this one manager who's um you know he's not he doesn't like that kind of stuff but uh overall in this video as you can see i'm sending emails so we have this uh database called vin solutions that's where we send our emails we make phone calls and we send text messages to get the customers to come into the dealership and then after that it means easy you just have to show them the car sell the car show them the needs and the benefits and the value that's how you sell the car you know you got to show them what what it why is, why are they paying so much for it so i have another manager he's the one that hired me as well and trained me and when uh, i first started training he asked me what is the meaning of a good deal and he told me that it's when value surpasses price and i think that's a good way to put it but overall, when you're selling a car, it's easy. You know, you just get all the paperwork. You got to get their driver's license, the, the credit app, and insurance, and other proof of documents, and then documents regarding the vehicle itself. And that's when they go to the finance manager, and then that's where they do all the numbers if they want warranty. And at the same time, you just have to sell yourself and make a friend while you're at it, you know, because that's how you're going to get a deal. And overall, it's easy. And I've learned a lot. I'm thankful I got into the car industry. And overall, thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot. Here, I'm making a phone call to a customer. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. So with that being said, won't be a good time for you to come on in and test drive the vehicle.